Hello, everybody. Okay, so I have filmed this video twice. The first time it would not upload, the second time I filmed it in slow motion. This will be the third. This will be the third time I'm filming this video, so it's gonna be great, and I'm super excited for the third time to show y'all my empties. And guess what? I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> this is going great already. <laughs> hey guys, it's Anna Magdalene, and today I am going to be showing y'all my empties from the past three months, as you can see in this big container. So let's get on started. First, we have these wipes from the cream shop and they are the sensitive skin type. I have gone through about seven of these, but I thought it was a little bit repetitive to put all of them in here. So I'm just gonna tell you that I've gone through a hell of a lot of these. I love them. You can order them from thecreamshot.com. I found them originally at TJ Maxx. I have not been able to find them there anymore. So I suggest that you order them offline if you would like to get them. They're super wet. They are soft on your face. They don't dry out in the packaging. And they have a bunch of different kinds. So they have the cucumber ones, they have the blueberry ones, they have the tea tree ones, and they're all for like different purposes. So for brightening or dark spots or like rejuvenation or whatever you need, they probably have it. Highly recommend these. They're great. And they're not too expensive either. Wonderful. So next we have these makeup wipes. They are the Trader Joe's the color cleanser and makeup remover towelette. Um, I did not like these basically. I just needed makeup wipes because I had ran out of these and I couldn't find them at TJ Maxx. These kind of suck. They were really rough. They were really dry. There were only 20 of them and they were really expensive. Next, we have the deep clarifying cleanser from CVS. And this is great. I want to repurchase this, but I keep forgetting, okay? So I use this in the shower and let me tell you, this tingles and it's the best sensation you have ever felt. So it smells like minty fresh, but the hot, steamy shower water against like the cooling, tingly, minty face wash is just the most relaxing, rejuvenating thing that you have ever felt on your face. And it's so fresh. <sighs> Highly recommend this CVS. Deep clarifying cleanser, oil free. Next, we have the Batiste Dry Shampoo and Sassy and Daring Wild Scent. Love this packaging, first of all. It's super cute. And second of all, love this dry shampoo. Everybody does. I don't think I need to talk about it too much. Ignore my thumbs. They're not painted. The rest of my fingers are. I'm going to paint them tomorrow. Anyway. Next, we have the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Love this stuff. So I have really bad asthma and I cannot use things with heavy fragrance. I don't mind this because it smells like coconuts, but I cannot deal with floral or like really fruity things. It's just, I'm going to wheeze and cough and it is not going to be a good day if I smell those things, okay? So this is great because it's fragrance free and it's made with natural colloidal oatmeal. I use this after I shower all over my body just to moisturize myself. This is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Woohoo for that. So next we have the oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena. And although it does remove your eye makeup, it really bothers me that it says it has no oily residue because bruh. If it claims to remove waterproof mascara, it's gonna have an oily residue. Like, I don't mind about the oily residue, because if I'm trying to remove waterproof mascara, then I am going to use either baby oil or a waterproof mascara remover. So I'm going to wash my face afterwards, because that means I have some heavy-duty makeup on. So I need to wash my face afterwards, okay? So, like, don't say it has 
have now oily residue because it literally has an oily residue afterwards. And it just annoys me. But I like this. Like, it removes your waterproof mascara really well. And it's very gentle and it's great. But it just bothers me that it has this little, this little claim right there. You see that? No oily residue? That could be yes. It has an oily residue. Don't listen to that. It's wrong. Let's fix that piece of hair because that's not cute. Okay. So next, we have these beautiful powders. I love these things. I use them every day and I have a bunch of them and I'm almost out of a couple more of them, but they're not in my empties box because they're over there on my vanity. There are the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powders. <laughs> they're like in every single one of my makeup posts because they're always on my face and I love them so much because I use them every day. <sighs> I can't say too many good things about these. Like they're... They don't dry out your skin. They keep you matte. I mean, yes, you have to touch up, but like, I'm sorry. I don't mind touching up because guess what? They come with this little compartment that has these squishy things in them that you can touch up with. Like I took it out because like I like to use the squishy things after I'm done with them. But they have these little squishy things in them that you can touch up with for a reason. So you just put it in your purse and touch up with it throughout the day. Like I'm sorry, but that's not the hardest thing I've ever done. <sighs> Why do people freak out about that? Like, oh my gosh, I only want powder that I don't have to touch up. Like, I'm sorry, like. Distancing myself from those people. But I love these powders. They are the bomb.com. Wonderful. So, a powder that I don't like, Remote Stay Matte, um, it broke. Them. It's really sad. Uh, let's get back. There we go. Now it is. So my dog ate this one. Okay, it ate it. It ate the top of this. So like, I can't use it under my eyes now because like the top is gone. And then this one, you know, it like was past due, and it was just like broken at the top there. So like that was upsetting. <laughs> But so, I love beauty blenders, and I need to get another one, but I keep forgetting when I go to Sephora to get another beauty blender, so it's making me upset. But beauty blenders are great for doing everything. They're just wonderful. Oh my gosh. Why is this piece of hair being so annoying? Anyway. Hashtag baby ears are unnecessary. Maybelline Fit Me Concealers are great because I use them all the time on my face, under my eyes, and to highlight. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of them by now. They're great. I use them all the time. I repurchase them. I use um, the color Fair, number 15. It's great. Next, we have two mascaras. This is the CoverGirl 
Conquer shirt by Lash Blast. Water resistant, not waterproof, water resistant. That means if you cry, it should last a little bit longer than if you were wearing a non-water resistant. I've tested that theory the experimental way. <laughs> well, I wanna show you the wand. Okay, so this is the wand. I love the wand. It's like a curved wand. So when you get the wand on your eyeball, it like curves it backwards and like curls your eyelashes and it's just great. Love it. It doesn't clump because it's a gold clump crusher. Like if it did clump, like wow, cover girl, and you had one job. Love it, repurchased it. Use it all the time. Have a review on it on my makeup Instagram. I'll put the link down below. You should go follow me if you're not already, which you probably are because like that's why you're here. But just in case you're not, <laughs> at animag.mua, go follow me. Anyway, next, Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara Sample. I'm obsessed with this brush. It's so cool looking. Let me show you. It's curly. It's a cur like it's a like a spiral. It's so cool. So cool. So cool. So cool. Plus, like bare minerals mascaras, all of them are the bomb.com. Just like Miss L'Oreal over here. The bomb.com and they volumize, lengthen. Dramatize, blacken, stay on. Oh, they're wonderful. Mm. Love them. I bought this for my sister for Christmas in the fall size. Because I'm a nice person. Recommend this if you have baby lashes or if you have Barbie lashes. This is going to make you look good. Next, speaking of babies, we have Maybelline Baby Skin. First of all, can we talk about this cute little packaging? It is cute, isn't it? I like these colors. These are some of my favorite colors. So, um, I am very disappointed at some of the hate. Let me fix my camera because it's, oh, that was my laundry. Oops. I'm going to put away after this video. So, this makes me mad that people are hating on baby skins just because they don't like silicone primers. Like, bro, stop hating on baby skin just because you don't like silicone primers. If you don't like silicone primers from Sephora, if you don't like silicone primers from Ulta, if you don't like silicone primers from CVS, then you just don't like silicone primers, okay? Stop saying you don't like baby skin. Like, that means you don't like professional either, and I like professional, okay? So, like, it is a good silicone primer from the drugstore. If you like silicone primers, try it. If you don't, don't. I enjoy it. I repurchased it. Yay. Last, but not least, because I really like this, is this MAC lipstick. In Flamingo, it's a luster lipstick. Love it, because I don't need to use a lipstick with it. It's this, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It was this very bright peach color. I have a lip swatch of this on my makeup account, I know. It's kind of old. But I also have like a picture of it on my makeup account that's more recent. That concludes our empties. The box is empty now. Mm -hmm. I feel like a boxy astronaut. Greetings. Okay, enough. Um, thank you for watching my first video. I know it was kind of long because there was a lot of empties, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, please leave a comment, and tell me what you think. Tell me if you've used any of these products, tell me if you're going to buy any of these products, or just comment something random. How your day went, if you like pickles, what color the sky is at the moment? I don't care, just leave a comment, like this video, or subscribe. Bye guys, I love you, have a great day.